In this section, I'm going to examine another command which we have in different routing protocols, and that's distribute list. What is a distribute list? It is a mechanism to uh, filter the routes inside or outside. What I mean by outside means if I have some routes, for example, on one of the routers, in my case, for example, router 3, I don't want other routers to receive this route. I can just filter it out using denying these routes from being distributed using the distribute list. But before doing anything, what I'm going to ask you is to click on that subscribe button. Also, there is a bell button there. If you click on that and activate that, anytime that I post a new video, you are going to receive it as soon as possible. Give me a thumbs up too. That's going to encourage me to create more of these kind of videos for you. A distribute list can be used to be uh, a mechanism to filter the route that we receive inbound. Let's say, for example, I don't want to receive some routes from router 5 because I want to receive it from router 1. Then I can assign a distribute list to this interface and say that I don't really want anything from router 5. So that is the way that it works. But let me give you an example. Let's go to router 3 here. I'm going to show IP interfaces brief, first of all. You see that I have added some loopback interfaces here. The IP addresses are 3331, 3332, and 3333. Now, there is no problem with that, but let's check the configuration that we have on RIP. So, show run. I'm going to have section router RIP. And it says that I have advertised network 3. Okay, I understand that this is RIP, and everything that you add to network clause is going to change into classful. So, uh, there is a problem here because we didn't really want to advertise these networks, but they are going to be in included in the advertisement. So if I just go to router 6, I can check them here and see, yes, 3331, 32, and 33 are here. Right? I don't really want this to happen. So what should I do? First of all, let me do something here. Show IP route 33310. Hit enter. It is there, and the last time it was received there 17 seconds ago. And you know that updates are going to be sent every 30 seconds, so after some time that's going to be refreshed. So if I just hit enter, it says that it is refreshed 0 seconds ago, right? Very nice. Let's go back to router 3. I want to deny them from being distributed. So what I should do, first of all, is to create an access list, deny these prefixes inside the access list, and then go and, and add it to the distribute list. So what I'm going to do here is to create an access list, a simple access list. I'm not going to go with a named access list. A standard simple numbered access list is going to be OK. Access list 3. I'm going to deny, let's say, for example, 3331000255. I'm going to deny. 32, also 33, permit anything else, right? This is the access list that I have created. Show access list is going to tell me that there is an access list with these uh, classifications, these clauses that we have inside. Now I go to router rip, and I say I have a distribute list. And in this distribute list, I'm going to choose the access list here. The access list is 3. And then it says, is it outbound or inbound? I'm going to, you know, use it outbound because I'm not going to send anything out. So I just type out. And then it asks me, do you want to drop these prefixes that you have selected here from all interfaces or just one specific interface? No, I'm... I'm not going to, you know, discriminate. I'm going to make sure that it, they are not going to go anywhere. So I hit enter. Now that I have done this, let me show the running section, running configuration of section rather rip. Now it says that we have created this distribute list. Do show IP protocol, a very nice uh, verification command says that some interfaces are passive, some of the interfaces are included here, and it says that there is an outgoing update filter list for all interfaces, which is using access list number 3. Very nice. 
Here, let's go and check the prefixes on router 6 again. So if I check this prefix, it says that I have received this 6 seconds ago. And I'm going to go, it says 10 seconds ago, 12 seconds ago. Let me wait for some seconds and try it one more time. 19 seconds ago. And then it is not refreshed. You see that 22 seconds ago, 26, 0. Oh my god, it is refreshed. Why? Let's go to router 5 and see what we have here. If I go to router 5 and show IP route, it says that I have received this 31, 1 minute and 31 seconds ago. You see that they are not still flushed, but they are not being refreshed. This is very important. So as soon as I do not see them here, you see they are 1 minute 24, 45 seconds. And after some time they are going to be flushed. 240 seconds, I guess, is the flush time. If I just type show IP protocol, you can check that and make sure that the time is like that. It says that uh, here, hold down is 180. And after 240 seconds, which is going to be 4 minutes, they are going to be flushed out, right? So how long since then, un until then? Now they are two minutes something, so I need to wait for four minutes complete. So I'm going to pause and wait for that. Okay, 180 seconds is passed now. You see that it says it is possibly down because it doesn't receive any update for this. And after some time, you should see that they are gone, right? And when they are gone, they should be gone from all other routers as well. So if I go back to router 6 and try this route one more time, it says subnet not in table, because we withdrew that, right? And if I check one more time here, okay, they are down, still down. They are still there for, for, for 4 minutes, they are going to be there. But after that, they are going to be removed based on what we have. Now, of course, uh, now you see that they are gone, right? One thing that you should notice here is the amount of time that you receive, you see this in the routing table. They are going to, the router is going to keep this there, retain it for more than three seconds, uh, three minutes, and that's a problem. Some other routing protocols like EIGRP or OSPF, they just withdrew it instantly. They do not let it be there for such a long time. We're going to see that in the, uh, in a later session when we talk about EIGRP or OSPF or ISOS even. But you see, one of the reasons that RIP is not a good protocol is this. It is very much suboptimal. It is not a good protocol to be considered for your network if you want to have convergence as fast as possible. So you need to go for some other routing protocol. The, w the, the reason that I'm explaining RIP is here is that I'm explaining the concepts that are universal. Every other routing protocol is using that. So we have distribute this on other routing protocols as well. Although OSPF has a better filtering mechanism, but still we have distribute this. 